Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some more EVE Online. And in today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about the Vexor and um, the question that I want to answer in this is what chip would I recommend to a new player that uh, doesn't really know what he wants to do in EVE Online and obviously my answer for that would be the Vexor because it's an awesome all-around chip. So we are in warp to a quick combat anomaly, hopefully Nobody is doing it. Yep, here we go. Perfect. A Serpentis Refuge. And uh, I will quickly do this in this Vexor that I threw together. It's uh, a Tech 1 fitted Vexor. And uh, let's start out with, uh, with the mediums for the batteries. No problem on that. If I want some movement, I'll just orbit this baby a little bit. And uh, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. But uh, yeah, the Vexor, it is definitely one... Uh, one of the ships, if not the ship, that I would recommend to new players uh, to go for first, especially if they don't know whether missioning is for them or uh, if exploration is for them or PvP or whatever. I think the Vexor is such a, a versatile ship that it's, it can actually uh, fit all of those roles and that it's, it's really awesome uh, for new players to discover more about EVE Online. So here we go. Uh, I'm quickly going to do this site now one addition that I'm adding to doing uh, to doing these sites uh, that might be a little bit costly something that I've been doing myself is to always put out a, um, a mobile tractor unit because that's actually pretty awesome uh, it really helps with the looting and uh, I've actually found myself deploy this in my Ishtar and actually looting pretty much every uh, site that I find so here we go Let's see if my hammerhead ones can take care of that Corelli spy as well. Yeah, they can actually do some decent hits on that. So that's working out quite well. Let's go, keep going. Finally another hit. And I'm actually going to switch out to, uh, to the hobgoblins now. Just keep this going. We even have a little bit of, of drone tanking because they get targeted. So here come my hobgoblin ones. Let's see if they can do this a little bit more quickly. But yeah, this is just a small combat anomaly and as you can see there's quite a lot going on. The main reason I would say uh, why I really like the Vexor for new players and, and personally is because it's a drone ship. And uh, I think that drones are for PvE one of the best uh, weapon systems, especially for their versatility. Uh, something like a Vexor can uh, field uh, 5 medium drones or 5 small drones, no problem. That means that you can handle any frigate but also any cruiser or even battle cruiser hull that the mission or the site throws at you so just for that it's really a, a really good ship now next up we got five frigates let's see who they target first uh, the disadvantage is that uh, your hobgoblins or your drones do get attacked from time to time uh, by the enemy uh, pirates but that just takes a little bit of, of extra management here we go they're actually starting to get me into armor but you can see how my drones are really chewing up these um, these rats very quickly so here we go into armor i'll just start a little bit of wrapping or preemptive wrapping i hardly have to do anything and in the meantime you know this this mobile tractor unit is really doing a lot of work for me as well if i want to speed up the process a little bit too i can just use some of my salvagers just to get some extra loot here as well. And here we go, let's go. Corelli Trooper down as well, and another wave. And I can also target another Rick for my Salvager. Great, good stuff. All my drones are okay. I take a little bit of armor damage, but as you can see, my repping is doing quite well. Just keep going. This will cost me a little bit of cap, but I'm pretty sure that uh, everything will be solved even before I get into any danger. So here we go. Just take care of that defender for me. He'll go down now. Boom. More salvaging to be done in the meantime. And more stuff being tractored. Come on. There you go, infantry down, more salvaging. 
And is that the final one or do I get a Serpenti spawn after I take care of this, uh, this mob? Nope, unfortunately that's all I get. So we'll quickly end the salvaging here after this cycle. And then on top of the 5 medium drones and 5 small drones I can also take some warriors and 5 salvage drones with me. So that's pretty good. And let's just have the Vixor finish its salvaging, if it finally takes on this one. Come on, go, go. Finish that wreck so that I can send my uh, my salvage drones to do the rest. And then I can talk a little bit about the fit and some more about the Vexor. But yeah, it's definitely the versatility of this. And as you can see, it can easily handle uh, these anomalies and stuff like that. Even in a tech one fit, never came into any real danger. There we go, wreck salvaged. We have a few left to do. Um, but for the fit, let's quickly go over uh, what I chose here. Um, in the low slot, a little bit of a tank, so I have uh, an explosive um, energized uh, membrane uh, just to plug that explosive hole, which is really the big hole in, in the armor uh, of a Vexor. After that also an energized adaptive nano and a 1600mm plate. Uh, the reason I chose this is in case you would come across a ghost site, this Vexor will actually probably survive that. Uh, you could switch your drone damage amplifier for a damage control if you want some more tank. This is just what I chose to do. Then in the mid slot, uh, to get an all-around feel of uh, or ability for this Vexor, I put in a relic and a data analyzer as well as a cargo scanner and then just an afterburner for mobility. And then in the high slot, I put a core probe launcher so that I could do some, uh, some high seeker exploration. Um, a tick one remote arm repair so that I could quickly repair my drones if that would be needed and then just two salvagers uh, to speed up the looting uh, in the sites. So yeah this is this is a, a very cheap Vexor it's just like 13 million for the whole package uh, so that's something that you can replace very very easily but it's also extremely well uh, well rounded you know this can do uh, level 1 or level 2 missions no problem uh, this can also do some exploration for data and relic sites uh, you can also do these anomalies like I'm doing right here this combat anomaly get some extra loot out and uh, you can do all of this slowly uh, build up your wallet and then start to upgrade this this fix or you know if you want to go for some rigs that's something you could invest a little bit in uh, after that you can upgrade your tank to a take two tank uh, you can upgrade your drones to a take two dr uh, to take two drones just so that you can be a little bit more effective or handle more difficult sites and uh, but but yeah this will handle a lot of the content that is available in EVE Online for you to explore um, I would recommend, and I would actually recommend this to almost anyone, to invest in some of these mobile um, tractor units because they will uh, help with the looting quite quickly. And then as you can see, uh, even from something like a small uh, refuge, which is extremely common anywhere in HiSec, I got two and a half million. So one of these must be something that's like Meta 4. Yep, here we go, this phased muon sensor disruptor. Let's do a quick show info here. It's a Meta 4, which is 2 million extra. Uh, you know, just five of, of sites like this and you will have re-earned your Vexor. So it's it's really, uh, I think, an awesome ship. Uh, stuff like a shield tanker would, would lose the mid slots to be able to field um, stuff like uh, the analyzers and uh, the cargo scanner. So. This, I think, yeah, it, this is definitely the ship that I would recommend to any new player uh, that wants to check out stuff like uh, exploration, uh, some missions, uh, or even PvP. Because after all, let's scoop this to the cargo hold and then just go to a planet. Uh, because after all, this is extremely cheap, um, but you can then just start upgrading with your skills and with uh, the modules that you put into your Vexor. You know, like I said, take to tank, tank take two drones after that go for some blasters if you like pvp so you can do more damage um, but it's an extremely uh, well-rounded ship very very versatile and just a fit like this you know it can do most of the all of the anomalies no problem a lot of uh, level one and level two missions maybe even a level three if you're a little bit careful uh, if you find a combat site in high sick and you're not alone you know two or three of these will probably handle a Serpentify Outpost or a Narcotics 
uh, warehouse no problem and uh, yep that's uh, that's really what I wanted to talk about uh, in this video because I've been doing some more high seek exploration and I have to say that the mobile tractor unit has really helped me with looting you know I really actually finish all the sites uh, and loot and salvage all of the sites that I find now which just it means a little bit of extra money for not too much effort and uh, this is an awesome ship uh, for new players to check out uh, all the available content in EVE Online in my opinion. Hell you could even you could even do transport missions in this because it's got a decent uh, it's got a decent bay of 480 cubic meters so even level 1 and 2 transport missions you could do in this. Uh, you could even do some mining if you really felt like it uh, with uh, with four turret hard points you could actually put four miners in it so if you want to check that out that's also possible in the Vexor because it also has a decent amount uh, of cargo capacity so yeah the Vexor you know definitely uh, my tip for any new players uh, that don't really know what they want to do in EVE Online I'd say go for a Vexor you can do almost anything uh, in this in this awesome ship for not a lot of money like I said this is just 13 million ISK for a Vexor and you can have a lot of fun in high sec with this anyways I hope you liked it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time